confirm that the testimony you're about to give before the committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Yeah. I will not be intimidated into withdrawing from this process. You've tried hard. You've given it your all. No one can question your effort. But your coordinated and well-funded effort to destroy my good name and destroy my family will not drive me out. After I have been in the public arena for 26 years without even a hint, a whiff of an allegation like this, and when my nomination to the Supreme Court was just about to be voted on at a time when I'm called evil by a Democratic member of this committee, while Democratic opponents of my nomination say people will die if I am confirmed. This onslaught of last minute allegations does not ring true. I'm not questioning that Dr. Ford may have been sexually assaulted by some person in some place at some time. But I have never done this to her or to anyone. That's not who I am. It is not who I was. I am innocent of this charge. I intend no ill will to Dr. Ford and her family. The other night, Ashley and my daughter Liza said their prayers. And little Liza, all 10 years old, said to Ashley, we should pray for the woman. It's a lot of wisdom from a 10 year old. We mean, we mean no ill will 